If you're monitoring the situation in Iceland, you will see that the earthquakes, a swarm of them, have started in the Iceland since the evening last night. And uh, when you look at the map, they are mostly concentrated in the Reykjanes Peninsula. And the timing is after the, you know, uh, 6 p.m. And they continue up to now. And in the Reykjanes Peninsula, the center and the concentration of this epicenter, as we say, is in the volcanic system that we know as Branchnil Fjol. And uh, this is where we see this cluster of the earthquakes forming at a depth of the 7 to 6 kilometers and uh, a little bit shallower somehow at uh, 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 later times. Something is rising. It can be purely tectonic. It can be some accommodation, space creation for the for you know injection of the magma. Branchia fuel is in this location and it's on the boundary between the uh, Eurasian plate and the Americas plate. And I've marked all the transform faults that you see transfer the movement from one uh, fault line into the next. They transfer it in this way from one volcanic system the movement toward the next volcanic system. We have several of them in the Reykjanes Peninsula. Branchstein fuel is one of the biggest ones. These are created at the plate boundary. Earth is cracked at the plate boundary. This is what we call the cracks. And the cracks are created by this uh, mantle convection cells. And uh, they come from the deep source. When they reach the ground, the actual um, magma formation happens when the pressure is relieved. Uh, the mantle material melts and can rise. And each movement, each pool of these uh, plates creates a volcanic system in sequence when one erupts, in geological term, next one will be soon erupting. They're all connected to the deep magma source. As you can see here, I've animated it here for you. I have a video about this. Watch this. This is important. It can be the uh, sign for the next eruption in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system. French volcanic system had some earthquake uh, recently, and there was some uh, fear mongering uh, about the eruption and something that may threaten the capital Reykjavik. Uh, these earthquakes are at a depth of the five kilometer, four and a half kilometer, like that. Thickness of the earth crust in that area is around 10 kilometers, so we have yet 5 kilometers more to reach the top of the mantle. Uh, this is a Brainstein fuel uh, volcanic system after Kristovik and uh, Fekudes fuel. Uh, it has one of the hot, uh, hottest spot points that is good for actually geothermal activity and uh, to absorb the energy and just make uh, electricity out of it. In the past, uh, some of the lava of it may have reached the vicinity of the Reykjavik, but they're not active uh, uh, only every 50 years or so. You will see that these earthquakes happen. These are transferring the uh, movement from the western side of the Reykjavik uh, ridge toward the east. So they have to move, otherwise they just uh, uh, get compressed. They move also, and that is the pooling of the plates by the Eurasian plate and the American plate uh, creating this. There are three Nukakigor or three craters, or three volcano, uh, are one of the fascinating tourist attractions in this area. This is a volcano which has been hollowed. Practically, you see the vent, volcanic vent, which has emptied is, uh, you know, lava, lava have erupted and subsided and just left a cavity. You can go inside it and see what is going on. This is a, one of the only places in the world you can see that. And this is not far from the wreck where you can go there. And uh, there are safety uh, measures around this. You can go with a lift down that uh, uh, vent of the volcano. You have to rise to the level of the volcano first. This is a mountain. Then you go down again. 213 meter, higher than many hills in the United Kingdom, actually, or Netherlands, or <laughs> Denmark. And then when you reach the bottom of the crater, you can see that this is the magma chamber for that area, which has been eroded by the lava action. You can see, actually, what is the dike. You can see the dike and touch the dike. This is where the dike is from. All the geological features, the effect of the heat on the rocks, you can see that. 
the discolorations due to the different minerals and different heating levels, like when you heat them for a piece of metal, for example. This is the most fascinating experience I've ever had, and that is what, what I think that you should go. This uh, fear-mongering actually caused people to go there and enjoy this site. Unique.